Hello there, and welcome to Complete Games with me, James. Hope you guys are all doing well, and I'm back with another episode of Subnautica. So, we need... I did say last week that we was going to make the Cyclops this week, but I'm going to hold off because we need to go back to the Dargasi wreck and have a look around for some more clues as to what might have happened because the trail runs cold. We also need to go and look for some more magnetite. I've got a little bit in my inventory just there, but there's plenty of it down where the pink mushrooms are. But I think I'm missing some key data packs as to information as to what might have happened to the rest of the crew of the Degasi. So we're gonna have a look round, and if we can get some more magnetite, we can then upgrade the seam off and give it the depth module mark two and then we can drop down to 500 meters. So that's the plan for today. Got some food. So let's take the seam off out. Can I get in this side? Come around here. Oh, I'll just repair it before we head on out. But the magnetite's quite easy to spot, so there's plenty of it down there. And it is very close by. I pretty much built the base above the mushroom caves. The Cyclops will become useful as we have to drop down deep. It's going to become more of a mobile base. We're also going to have to build the prawn suit. That's going to allow us to drop very, very deep and mine some of the resources that we're going to need. Okay, so there's some magnetite there. It looks kind of like lithium, but sort of triangles. Just want to watch out for these worm creatures. Some shale down here as well, so we could probably find gold and silver. Although I've got enough of that for now. And I can see a couple here. Just have a quick check round before I jump out. Okay. And I can sort of see something in the corner of my eye. Let's get back in quick. Yeah, you. Okay, so let's head on to the other end of this cave. It's not actually that big, the cave, so at the other end is the Degasi base, or the wreck of it, if we just follow this trail. Well, can't see any round here, but aha, here we go. Made his log speak freely. Okay, well, we'll check that out, but I haven't got a PDA update, so it's not got another location for us. So, I don't know, maybe I've missed something inside. This. Yeah, there's a little bit of everything down here. There's actually some really good resource nodes for the prawn suit, so I am going to have to come back here to get some resources. Just grab some air and um, let's listen to what Maida has to say. One of the three crew members aboard the Degasi. Paul. These conniving corporate bourgeois inbred incompetent self-absorbed jerks don't have a damn clue. The kid's not so bad. He's even useful. But I swear, everything that comes out of his father's idiot face is a narcissistic lie. He wants to stay in this cave? His problem. I'm the one doing the heavy lifting. When sea monsters are hunting you, you don't hide. You hunt the sea monsters. Then, you build a bigger boat out of sea monster bones and you hunt bigger monsters. Keep going until there aren't any monsters left to hunt you. I'm going deeper. I'm gonna find what shot us down and I'm gonna tear its damn heart out. I started the prep work. The kids taught me how to make enameled glass. I've started stockpiling metal ores to build myself a sea moth. I'll raid the indoor grow beds before I leave. I'm just gonna check inside just in case I've missed something. Um, but, uh, some light. Ah, here we go. Another one. 
Okay, and we've got a new signal location. So this will be the last clue we needed to figure out what happened to them. Let's check this out. This is it. You know what Maida told me today? She wants to build a habitat 500 meters below sea level, more than a kilometer northeast of here. And she needs Bart and I to do it. She's got it into her head that she can save us if she just acts recklessly enough. But I've hauled Star Wars to Neptune, Plasteel to the Federation. <sighs> This family operates nine different mining colonies across the Ariadne Arm. Maida thinks she's better suited to lead. Her contract still says otherwise. But I just cannot damn well tell whether it's the stupidest idea I ever heard. Or my only hope. I turned 80 years old last week. I thought I had another 80 in me, but marooned on this planet, there's no swapping out of my liver when the old one fails. Here, a mortal. A maida is useful. So, it's my responsibility to make a decision. Return to the island and hope whatever not that the Ghazi out of the sky won't do the same to the rescue ship. Or take us deeper in search of answers. And all the while be hoping old age gets me before the sea monsters do. I'll give Maida just one thing. She was right about these caves. There's enough lithium there to fabricate a hundred tons of plasteel. Enough for a damn fleet of Cyclops submarines. There was nothing anyone could have done to avoid crashing here. But I was right to order the detour. If we get off this planet, they'll be talking about the Torgel share price on the other side of the Federation. <laughs> okay, so you heard him. The crazy Mader took them deeper to investigate the alien structure and we've now got their coordinates so let's make Welcome the depth the module captain. mark 2 right well I think I've got everything I need let's head on out and see if we can figure out the new location so where is it already on here just deactivate a couple of these other beacons so I don't get confused which way I'm heading. Um, there it is, proposed to see habitat 500 meters. So yeah, we're gonna head out to this location just over here and see if we can find some more clues as to what happened to the Degasi. I thought I was missing one of these PDAs as I was quite sure we did find more clues as to where they were. Well, let's just head on out. Okay, so we're just coming into the Grand Reef. Looks like we can get in just through this hole here. Now we can drop down 500 meters. I am going to have to be careful. Uh, looks like them. We've got warpers there warping in and the brain squid things. God, just the sounds in this. <laughs> just freaky looking. Oh, it's chasing me. Oh, God. Oh, and it sent out an EMP. The Degasi is exactly 500 meters down. Or below it. I thought it would stop chasing me if I uh, turned my la lights off. Explore what I can. Okay, let's just 
just get inside quick. And where's my scanner? Let's just get that out. Creature egg. So that's the second one we found. One of five, I believe. Okay. Can't see anything on this level. The sounds are just. <laughs> Surrounded by him now. He sounds so angry. Um, which way did I come in? Need to get out of here. Um, where did I put the seam off? Uh, don't wanna get close. Thirty seconds, meaning ten seconds. Where did I put the seam off? No, I'm gonna run out of oxygen. Ah, oh, rookie mistake. I thought I just parked it just above me. Uh. Oh, okay. Okay, I've managed to make it back. On the sea glide, just about without running out of air. Well, he's angry. I know I didn't explore all of that. Ghost rays are alright. Oh, there's a warper down there. Right, let's just try this side, just see. Oh, we definitely need that. What a place to set up a place. Okay, there's another PD-8. Right. I'm not fully confident that I searched the other side, but I think I'm just going to get back. Okay, what's this? Swim charge things. I'm just going to get back to base. If I can build the next depth module, I'm going to have another look around just in case. I'm not satisfied. I, I might have left something in the other, other space. Let's just get out of here if we can. It's hard dropping under this cave when you've only got the second depth module. It forces me lower than I can go in some places. I need to repair this quick. Right. Just stay away. <laughs> Wait, quick, let's get out of here. Okay. Need to try and find. things are frustrating. I could have really done with the stasis rifle as well. I think I can build that. Oh, again. oh, don't be dragging my seam off off. Right. Hopefully I can make it out of here. I 
just can't see any way out. Okay. Um, what was that? Oh, whoa, oh, whoa, oh, just like seven left. I didn't even see that whopper. Be really careful, I need to get out quick and repair. This is not good. We could just lose the seam off. I think this is looking like we can get out this way. Okay. Got another message just come in. Right, yeah, this is the way out. Right, next time we come down here. I think we need a we need the Mark III depth module. Okay. Well that was fun. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna try that next time with the Stasis rifle. Get dark out here. I don't want to sort of wander off. Let's get up. I sort of feel that we might end up in a place we might not want to be. It's really dark. Okay, well, we made it back just about. Welcome aboard, Captain. We need to make some more equipment, upgrade our dive suit. We're still in the radiation suit. We could do the rebreather as well. We don't need that because we shut off the radiation in the Aurora crash site. We, we managed to seal the reactor. So we're out of power. So let's just grab some of this and I don't know if these Reginals are breeding or not. Let's shove this out. Didn't mean to eat one. Start getting some more power in here. That should go up. Okay, and we got the creature egg. We've also got the blueprint for the containment facility, so we're going to have to check that out. But let's have a listen to what the Degasi crew had to say. What happened next? Okay, let's play these. Let's check it out. So we'll start from seven. Please, stop fighting and listen. We're sick. What? How? You've been coughing, right? Feeling itchy? Blisters? Yeah. The biometrics would have warned us if we were sick. It's something new. It's not in the database. Come on, then. What's it gonna do? Turn us inside out? Dissolve us into jelly? It's an alien bacteria. It's everywhere. Every organism on this planet. It's altering our genetic code. Uh, how are the creatures surviving if they're infected? I don't know yet. Want me to cut some of them open for you? Find out what makes them tick? No. Just tell me what you need, son. Materials. Equipment. Just... Can I have some quiet? I need some time to think. Well, it looks like Bart is trying to figure out how to cure the virus. That's something we're going to need to have to do if we stand any chance as well. See what happened next. Margaret, Maida has boarded the habitat. What are you so happy about, Maida? Say, kid, I brought you something. Is that a leviathan outside? Towed it home on the back of the sub. You killed that thing? It's still breathing. I was about to finish the job, but I can stay in chat if you'd like. No? Then make yourself useful and pass me that hardened blade. Are you out of your mind? You brought that thing here? What if it's not as dead as it looks? What if others come? You prefer it got curious and came of its own accord? Or got messed up and dragged here? When we get off this planet, I am going to drag you through every court in the damn Federation. Wow, so Maida managed to drag a Leviathan back there. I don't know if that was a Ghost Leviathan or a Reaper Leviathan. But yeah, that's pretty crazy. Um, okay, so let's play number three and I'll build this coffee machine while we're doing it.
I have had it with you, risking our lives. Oh, stow it, Chief. The kid can't kill this disease without fish to study. I'm just bringing him home. But tell her. Tell her I'm right. You're both wrong. Marguerite, I can't find out how they resist the bacteria if you slaughter them all. It ain't always they oblige in coming in alive. He means you're being reckless. Father, the outcome's no better if we hole up in here and don't go outside. But we have to find a middle way. There is no compromise. Not while she's on my sea base. Your sea base? I'm going outside. Bart, Torical has disembarked the habitat. Bart, come in. It's dangerous. Damn it, boy. I knew you could hear me. Chief. Chief, get off the radio and put on your helmet. What? Brace! Okay, so I don't know if that was a, again, a Reaper Leviathan or a Ghost Leviathan screaming. Um, let's check out this message as well. This is Life Pod 2 coordinates attached. We're way past our safe depth and bleeding O2. We'll have to swim for the surface, but it's 500 meters straight up. We'll make for the rendezvous and keep you posted. Out. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Okay, well we haven't been there because it's 500 meters down, but we do know what happened to CTO U, because she met up later on with 2nd Officer Keen. So we now know where her life pod is. We'll have to investigate that soon. What I do want to do is build a stasis rifle, and now we've got the magnetite, we can do that. Okay. So I've added a little bit more to the base, I've added a couple of rooms and a containment facility because we've got a couple of creature eggs and we can start doing some study ourselves about what's going on here. So I'm just going to put a little bit more glass on the base and I've just added an extra couple of levels here. So I can make an extra large containment facility. And... I don't know where else... Should I parallel the windows on the other side? I've put plenty of reinforcement on the base. So yeah, I'll just go on the opposite side, I think, with a couple more. So we can put plenty more glass in. I think I might swap out a couple of the corridors for glass corridors as well. In some spaces. Why can't I put a window here? Uh, because I haven't got any more glass. Or is it because I haven't got any power? I need more glass. I thought I bought a load. Okay. But... Let's just have a look at what we've got left. Managed to get the stasis rifle done. And I've got some upgrades on my equipment as well. We've got the rebreather, so that's going to help us breathe for longer underwater. And... There we go. I thought I had some more glass. Uh, there's some. So I can shove... Four more windows in if we want. I think just up here, it'd just be nice to be able to look out here. And one next to it as well. Okay. I think that's good for now. Had a window on the outside here, perhaps, though. Because as we come in through the mall pool, this room is empty. It's just a corridor feeding into other rooms. So I'll stick a window just there. There's more stuff we can do in there. Let's get some pictures up or something. Perhaps build the lab there. Okay. Glass compartments can wait. Okay. 
So I've got some stuff that we can put in the containment facility. I think I'll put any more on. I think that'll do for for now. Okay, so where were them creature eggs? Uh, nope. wasn't that one. I'm not sure which creature egg that was, actually. Okay, there's one. And the other one we found in the big giant tree. I'm not sure where I put it. Put it in here? With stuff? Yes. So I do believe there's five of these to collect. So far we've found two. Plant some mushrooms and a little bit of this weed as well. Okay, let's just drop these guys and okay, it looks like something's happening there. I can see them sort of moving about, so we'll leave these guys to hatch. And that's pretty much all the time I've got for in this week's episode of Complete Subnautica. Next week I will be building the Cyclops and we're going to have to get another depth module on that Seamoth. See if we can go even deeper. Don't forget to subscribe if you're enjoying the playthrough so far. And until next time, I'm James from Complete Games and I'll see you.